Metrostate sent us to Yes, I'm writing to you in relation to your incorrigible antisocial behavior arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I am sympathetic to your plight and passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you the important message the treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the cisterns, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, have reluctantly come to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom limited lest you break the golden rule. It's my hope that this letter will assist you to remember while you're incarcerated. You should... Okay. Experience any further memory lapses. What does it say? Says that you got tr caught trespassing several times and they locked you to stop you from breaking the golden. Uh, what treasure? What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then, he died. It was very sad. He said if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about the cisterns. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. And Ek, Ek, the priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Give me the key, I could try to find out what it unlocks. Hannibal s d said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Let me talk to the magistrate. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. You tell me a new magistrate? Like Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here. And I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was. Just that it was way up high and very precious. See what I can do. You know, way out of here. You're going to let me out of here? Really? not what I said. I asked you know a way out of here. Please. I hate it here. It makes me very sad. Never mind. What do you think about the golden rule? Gold? You mean... Treasure? Talk about your treasure. My friend Hannibal used to look after me. He said he yeah. always, he said he gave me the, all I remember. Yeah, yeah, I'm going over this. Fair enough. Bye bye. I did not do it, duly. All right, well, it wants me to talk to Galerius. That.
saw you use the device I made, and it worked! Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me a favor? What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower for me? All right. Oh, thank you. It would help me a lot. Oh, boy. There's All no right. rush. Just whenever you get a chance. All right. See you around. Well, yeah, there's the flower. So we're going to have to somehow... I don't want to know how to get in there. See if we can do it. Assuming E lets me let go. Oh, space to jump. Try it again. Okay, we really fly, so we're gonna have to do it quick. Try it again. It's gonna have to be like almost immediately. We gotta let go. I thought maybe I could pick it while I was flying over it. something there but I don't I don't see a way to get over there at all okay give him his flower Settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? I have the flower you wanted. Brilliant! You did it! Well done! This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. Worst that could happen. You mean, aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Yeah. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful. I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? I think you should admire her discreetly from afar. Mm, I suppose you're right. What I need is a go-between. Someone who can tell her how I feel and find out how oh she feels God. without risking her life. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? 
All right. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance and that I just want her to know that she's loved. I can do that. Oh, thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. All right. And may Vesta watch over you. Someone wants to give you this. Oh, how lovely. It just happens to be my favorite, too. Who do I have to thank for this? It's supposed to tell you it's from your secret admirer. And that they'll keep their distance. They just want to know your love. I see. So, it's from Galerius, then? You know already? Of course I do. I think everyone in the city knows. That man is a wonderful human being, and my favorite person in the world. But he is the least subtle secret <laughs> admirer you could imagine. The way he looks at me with those puppy dog eyes. Plus, he's been trying for weeks to get his hands on this flower. He went to so much effort, too. Suspending that rope above the lake, inventing that pulley device all on his own. He'd just stand there each morning, looking at the flower, trying to summon the courage to seize it. Oh, my heart. What should I tell him? Tell that adorable oaf that my Vestal's vow of chastity ends once I turn 36. So, if we ever make it out of here, and he doesn't mind waiting a few years, then tell him I love him too. All right, be happy to hear it. I hope so. Uh, what do you think of the golden rule? I'm quite sure it's the work of the gods, which is strange because they've never been particularly concerned with our misdeeds, as long as we've kept the peace of the gods. We asked for blessings, for good health, bountiful harvest, military victory, and in return, we offer praise, wine, incense, or animals. But here, it seems they require much more of us. I find myself reminded of an especially pertinent tale from our great poet Ovid in his epic Metamorphoses. Would you like to hear it? It is rather long. Sure. Wonderful. It goes like this. Baucis and Philemon were an old married couple living a humble life in a small town. One night, the town gets a visit from a couple of vagrants. They go from door to door, asking for a place to stay the night. Of course, being vagrants, they're turned away sharply from house after house, a thousand in all, until finally they come to the little cottage where Baucis and Philemon live. Now the kind old couple had very little to offer, but nevertheless, they invite these strangers into their house and offer them food, wine, and a place to stay. Immediately, the guests make themselves at home. They begin gulping down the old couple's wine, so much so that Baucis, the old lady, begins to worry they're going to run out. And then she notices something strange. Her wine pitcher keeps refilling itself, as if by magic, realizing only a select few possess such powers. Says to her husband, Philemon, I think these men are gods in disguise. Immediately, the couple begins apologizing for offering such coarse wine. And the vagrants metamorphosize and reveal themselves to be Jupiter, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the trickster god. They confide they didn't mind the meager offerings. They were just pleased that someone in the town offered them hospitality. Then Jupiter says to them, You have passed our test, but everyone else in this city failed, so we are going to destroy this place and everyone in it, except you, who we will grant a wish. So old Baucis and Philemon escape up into the mountains safely, and they receive their wish, which is for eternity together. Meanwhile, Jupiter carries through with his threat and wipes that city off the map. Some say the moral of that story is that we must all honor the sacred rituals of guest friendship, the reciprocal obligations owed between hosts and guests. But I like to think it's that we should always show compassion for those less fortunate than ourselves. 
I agree. I'm pleased to hear it. What's the status of the election? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? Can I nominate another candidate? You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. Galerius. I like the idea, but I know Galerius well, and his position has always been that he won't run unless Maliolus withdraws. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only ever run if it was absolutely necessary to make sure Sentius wasn't re-elected. So, I suppose if you'd like to see Galerius elected magistrate, you'd need to persuade Maliolus to withdraw somehow. Who's all allowed to vote? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. I vote then? Well, you're not a citizen yet. So, no, I'm afraid not. But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Jazz. By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. What's your role? I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. Certainly. Start it. Um. I've been asking people on how they wind up here trying to find a pattern. Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me. But you've come to the right person. Did you find a pattern then? What have you noticed? Some people mentioned a river. Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? I noticed. Hmm. There are definitely some common threads there. But I think we'll need at least a few to ensure we're not just seeing coincidences. Keep asking people how they wound up here. I don't want us to rush to any conclusions yet. Livia's fate weighs heavily on my mind and dictates we should be sure. Yes, you should ask the others first. You know way out of here? I don't, I'm afraid. It seems to me we're exiled here until the gods judge us, one way or another. Come back to me. Once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Okay, so I haven't been over here. Alright. Uh, actually, let's do Galerius first. Just turn it in. We'll come back here. Again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's in your mind? Delivered the flower. Thanks. What did she say? She knew it was from you. She asked me to tell you that when she turned 36, she's allowed to marry that she loves you too. Venus, that is the best news I've ever heard in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how happy you've made me. I wish there was something I could do to thank you properly, but... I don't have much to offer you. All I can do is tell you where there's a secret stash of coins you might be interested in. Listening? In the rock tunnel near the stairs, there's a little doorway set into the rock. Inside, if you look carefully, you can see a chest. Unfortunately, one of those golden huntress statues is blocking the path, and I'm not game to move it. If you can figure out how to get past it, I reckon there might be a small fortune waiting for you. I hope that helps in some way. Ever thought about running for magistrate? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, 
So I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Alice runs. It's going to break the Gordon rule and kill us all. But how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. He has plans to have Sentinus executed for treason? You overheard him say that? Oh, why does that not surprise me? He and Sentius have despised each other for a long time now. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Alright. What do you think about the election? Uh, I can't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. What do you think of the Golden Rule? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? Your way out of here? Well, as much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. Yeah. Uh, I can't see oh. even. All right, see you around. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know how to move that statue, but I know what he's talking about. Uh, name's Rufius. Better watch your stick. What's your story? Can't talk long. Got to stay sharp, but uh, family's from Seleucia and Tigris. Babylon province. I've been roaming a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How'd you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Why are you still wearing your legionary armor? Because we're all in grave danger. Is it not obvious? Why don't you have your weapon? Don't you just love springtime? Magistrate made me toss it in the chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. Not much of a talker, are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. Dealing with? None of your business. In Troy to hit some coming chula. Alright. If we have to. You know way out of here. If I did, do you think we'd be having this conversation? What do you think of the Golden Rule? Tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. What do you mean? I mean, all these people just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits... It's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. You're paranoid. Don't tell me you're one of those golden rule deniers like Meliolus. Get lost, Verpa. I'm just saying you're weird because you think the statues are staring at you. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that Kulas Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. Check it out. It's too late. 
She just slipped away. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. What do you think I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. See what I can do. And what's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How'd you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. I already hear that. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you working out of a shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Uh, talk, tell me about Nevia. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues. Like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace barred the door from the inside and nobody's seen her since she's been gone so long now we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it but i really wish i could reach her because that's the only hope i have of solving a troubling problem a real thorn in the poor situation one of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism his joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain uh -huh. I really shouldn't say. 
He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. I have the key to her old chest. Perhaps I can find uh, what you need there. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let me know how you go.